My name is Stéphane Cessé. I'm one of the two founders of Barencroft, Barencroft Champagne. It was a dream with my childhood friend, uh, Patrick Sabaté. We start in 93 to dream about making our champagne. At the beginning, it was not for selling it. It was just for us, for make, uh, for events, private events, birthdays, wedding, <laughs> divorce also. <laughs> but and we, at the beginning, it was for, for us, only for us. And we wanted, uh, we wanted to make uh, our own taste, you know. We don't want to find this taste uh, in other places, in, our, in other brands, because we, we could not, it doesn't exist. Well, I was uh, working in communication during uh, 25 years. And Patrick was doing corks also. He had his uh, own company making corks. And in fact, uh, we had time to do the best champagne, you know, for us. Uh, we were not, you know, in hurry. We, we didn't have to go away quick, quick, quick. We want this champagne. No. And uh, we took the time. And uh, the difficulty was to find a good person to, to come with us in this uh, fantastic dream. And we visited some producer in Champagne, and one of them accepted to, to come with us to, to make this dream true. And his name is Michel Rapier. And Michel Rapier, as you know, is in, is in south of Champagne. And his champagne, Trapier, was uh, the one who the former French president Charles de Gaulle was drinking when he was alive a few, few years ago. And uh, I just asked to Michel, please give me the three parcels where you were producing the Charles de Gaulle champagne for Baron Croft. And I will do something unique if you accept. And during one year, we were speaking with Michel. I was explaining what I wanted to do. And one year after, he accepted. He accepted. And, uh, and then we start, but Michel said, OK, what you want is very special. Doesn't exist. And maybe you will have to wait 10 years, perhaps more. And as I told you, we had uh, our job with Patrick, my friend, and, and I. And he said, okay, doesn't matter, we wait. But also you have to know something. It will cost a lot. <laughs> Why cost a lot? Because expanding 10 years, uh, expecting 10 years, and what you want to do, it's a big cost. Okay. And we say, okay, why not? We want, we want the best. To have the best, we have to pay. We have to pay and we have to, to make sacrifices to have this. Okay, I'm going to open it now. But I can send uh, you the sentence on the label concerning the, in English, I will send it to you. This is the B. Be careful to my screen. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bubbles. That's a, a fine bubbles. The, the, the definition of Barencroft is always full bubbles. Even if it's old, old champagne, we have we still have a lot of bubbles because of our special cork we put also. It's uh, technical, in fact. Um, very fresh and the color also. Yeah very fresh and then if I, I let it now few minutes because that's why i say we have to carafe it because uh, we open uh, it's a 12 and we're in 21 and we have to take oxygen you know you know the, the things and after when i'm going to put another another one upstairs here it will be different and the third 
also different. In fact, characteristic when you open a Burncroft or a bead, the same. It looks like like opening three different bottles in one. This is incredible because now you know it's free. It's in the glass, and it's going to take oxygen, and another thing open now. Oh, I put the bottle like this if you want. The packet of this, with for the B, we have two full cork plus one. It made three full cork, you no, know, like this. For the burn crop, it's five pieces of cork. It's a full cork, one, two, three. But the Burncroft cork is full with three pieces like this and two like this. Five pieces of full cork from the best cork in the world, in fact. And only made by hand. Made by hand. It's a mark marketry. I don't know if you know the term marketry. We can have a repetition on the 12th, the repetition of the 96, uh, 97, sorry, 97 of B. The collector of this, this one. Uh, I don't know if you see it. Yes, you see it. Uh, we have this, it's the same, you know, same evolution. And we had, or we, we found this with the Burncroft 2006 with the Burncroft 96. We have the same, you know, family of wine uh, because, uh, because it was uh, concerning the, the weather condition the uh, sunny uh, water, etc., etc. But what I think, we have the repetition with 12 of the first B we put on the market was the 97. That's why that I, can, I, can, I can see. But in fact, maybe uh, in one year, if I open it, if I open one again, it will be different, you know? And I will tell you, oh, it's like the 2000 of B, you know? And it, it depends the evolution, in fact. It's a... Uh, we are, it's a, a live product. It's not a dead product, you know what I mean? It's always, it, there is always an evolution, as you know, in the wine. My name is Stéphane Cessé. Uh, I'm the founder and the CEO of uh, Champagne Baron Croft. And it's a big pleasure to speak with you today. It's a great honor for me to work with Eno. Very nice company, very nice uh, people. I enjoy it. I'm very glad to know you. And I hope you, we are going to, to make amazing things.